Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Jungle Genies. Today we'll be looking at the Xiaomi Mi 2 earphones. So on the box they're actually called the Mi 2 True Wireless Earphones 2 Basic. Um, but on the AliExpress website they're called um, Xiaomi Mi 2 What True Wireless Headphones. Um, so inside the box you get the actual earbuds and you get a USB-C charging cable. So nice to see a USB-C being used for charging. Um, very short cable but it doesn't need to be much longer than that nice the fact it blends in with the color as well they've gone white the actual case is a matte white there is no um, logo or branding at all on there on the back you've got your charging and on the front you've got your LED charging indicator the actual case is nicely built um, on some of the cheaper brand headphones you tend to get um, just very plasticky very basic looking designs whereas these are quite nice quite rigid um, you know you've got glossy glossy plastic here and then the matte black on the outside is really really nice on the back you've got the Xiaomi logo as you can see there Chinese writing all that kind of stuff talks you through how many volts it does 5 volts charging I believe yep with 0.2 amps so the actual earbuds themselves um, are fairly large so I've I've been using these for a few weeks now um, and I actually think they're a little bit too big but I don't know, it's personal taste though. So as you can see, if we compare them to an actual Apple, an Apple uh, AirPod. So this is the generation two one and this is the Xiaomi Mi 2. So as you can see, they're slightly bigger and they're a bit more clunkier. Um, these ones I feel, I don't feel too too conscious that they're in my ears and if I, I know sometimes I forget they're actually there whereas with these ones they're quite big and chunky and they they do come down your face quite a lot it's almost like an old-fashioned um, hands-free kit which I'm not overly fond of but as personal choice maybe you do like a more uh, in your face design something that you know clearly shows people that you're, you're wearing them so if we look at the depth there you know these are nice and slim and they're rounded as well which meet the contours of your face Whereas these are a bit more chunkier and you can't really hide them at that well when you're wearing them. You know, I find that when you wear them, you wear them at an angle like this and it goes across your face. Whereas these, they drop into your ears and then they drop down the side of your ear um, nice and neatly. These fit nice and tightly in your ears and, you know, I, I wear them and I forget that I'm wearing them sometimes because they fit so nicely and nice and snugly. But obviously these are 125 and these are only 20, 20 pounds, 25 pounds, depending on when you get them. Um, so that's my that's my first downfall in terms of the design, is the fact they're very, very chunky. One thing I will say though, is that the sound is very, very good for something that I only paid 17 pounds, 27 pence on AliExpress for. Um, and when I compare them to my AirPods, you know this I can't tell the difference between the sound and that's a hundred pounds difference so if you're not worried about the way they look these are as good as these in terms of sound quality the bass is nice the high end and the low end reproduction of audio is good um, if you listen to things like Spotify or Google Music or YouTube Music you know you won't you know you're not missing out because it's you know it's just mp3 quality um, it streams music and you don't need something that's massively high end whereas the only time you actually see the difference with these is when you listen to things like um, flack things like that and these these then come into their own but rarely will you actually do that on your mobile phone which is probably where you're using them more on a tablet and things like that so these are good enough for someone on a budget these are better if you're a high-end audiophile and you want the best quality and the audio you can get so if you're on a budget get these if you care about the quality of your music and you do listen to things like flack and you know um, lossless um, audio quality then go for these um, so the case is is well made as well uh, these fit nicely in there and you do get a good charge so on a full on a full charge from the case you get at least 20 hours of charge um, and the indicator on the phone also tells you when they're about to run out and you need to get them into the case so what I always do is I have the charge the case fully charged um, and the earbuds fully charged that way 
when they do run out, I can whack them back into the case and then I can um, just keep using them on my way. <clears throat> so, you know, for me, these have been really, really good. Um, you can't really argue for the price. The design is good. It's just how chunky they are, which puts me off, um, you know, wearing them in compared to my AirPods. But, you know, if I had 20 quid and I wanted a cheap pair of Air uh, earphones, I would definitely go for these. Um, and when you compare these to some of the other cheaper earbuds I've, I've reviewed, especially some of the uh, Dre Beats ones on that I got from Wish.com, these are much, much better. So the Xiaomi uh, Mi 2s are a good buy. I would give these a genius rating, especially for the price. You can't go wrong for something like this. So ideal for kids, you know, when they've got a lot of money to burn on some earbuds, you know, these are gonna, they're not gonna be really happy with these. Um, and they probably don't care about how big and chunky they are. Me being an adult, I care a bit more about how they, you know, how I look with them because I don't want people to be drawn to these massive white earbuds I've got in my ears. Whereas, you know, young people don't care about that kind of stuff. So if you're on a budget, ideal. If you're not on a budget and you don't care about design, get them. Or if you want something that's really, really good and you really do care about the way people perceive you and you're a brand whore, I'd go for some AirPods. But once again, these cost a hundred quid more than these. So that's just my opinion. Budget, get these. If you care about design and brand and audio quality, if you're listening to things like Flack, get these. So hope that's been useful. Um, leave me a comment. Remember to like and subscribe for my next video. And I'll see you on the next one.